Good morning, Rabbi Isai. How's everybody doing? Good morning, good morning. Ah! Three days into Tum and Tahara. It's feeling good. It's easy stuff. I see a couple of people going. <laughs> I got yelled at for, for saying that it's uh, difficult. I don't remember saying it's difficult. I said, you know, we got we to gotta know the stuff. We'll, we'll be from the only people when Mashiach comes. There's going to be a feher. We're going to see today. There's going to be a feher. They're going to ask, you know the halachas? If you don't know, you're out. At least you got to go learn them. So let's learn them now. Shiach comes, we'll step right in. You step in, you don't get fired afterwards. Parnas Achoydesh, Shia Greenfield from Green Star Electrical Contracting, and Yossi Klein from Superior Plumbing Munsi. She is sponsored the Rafur Shleim of Yitzchok Ben Rivko. Iver Smith. Iver Smith, Iver Smith. A tremendous Mazel Tov, our boys. We have two Mazel Tovs in the Shir. One is Rabbi Unger from RBS. His daughter got engaged. To Rabbi Goodman's son. And another one is Rabbi Zalman Tversky from Chicago. You're very familiar with him. You see him a lot on Zoom. His daughter got engaged, and at least two of the MDY Chevra went to the Vart, which is a beautiful thing. Uh, one of them, I think, knew him beforehand, if I'm not mistaken, but the other one, I don't think. I think it was uh, they met here on MDY, so it's, it's Mamish, it's, it's Mishpacha. Listen to this, Rabbi Yisai. Once in a while we have to go over the basics. There are people that come in, the new guys, and they don't know. So they ask, here's two emails from Shmuel Kaufman. Which Stefanski are you? My grandmother, Kopenheim, was a Krauss from Switzerland. She has a Stefanski brother. Are you related? Shmuel Kaufman. The other one is from Avram Stefanski. Hello, Eli Stefanski. My husband is Rabbi Avram Stefanski, son of Baruch, Bruno. We want to know how you're related to us. You look like a Stefanski, so who's your father and grandfather? So now they're not asking, are you related? They know that I'm Stefanski, but yeah, all Stefanskis are related. My grandfather was Reb Rifal Stefanski from Bnei Brak. He was one of ten brothers that came from Switzerland. Ten brothers and I think like two sisters. So anyway, all Stefanskis therefore are related. Bruno's one of the brothers, you know, like that. So all Stefanskis are related. And my father is Rabbi Yaakov Stefanski, the one that learns all day with Talos and Phil and that guy. All right, here's a quick one. Hmm, let's see. From Andrew Fuchs in Woodmere. First of all, I want to wish you a very happy birthday. Uh, he holds in the same esteem as George Washington and Abraham Lincoln, who celebrate the birth until the next weekend. During the last cycle of the daf, I lasted about nine days before I dropped out. Bar Hashem, this time around, I'm still going strong. I started out with the eight minute daf, and then I worked my way to the full shear, and now I'm hooked. My son no longer asks me why I have all these svarim that I don't use, referring to my shas. I do the full shear and listen to the eight minute after for chazara, for review. Sometimes I even like to listen to multiple eight minute ones to get a review of the week. Oh, geschmack ideal. The whole week in one shot. Is there a way in the app that I can set up a playlist to go through a bunch of straight through? I have no idea. That we have to ask Leon or Yosef. Lastly, in regards to Joey Tribbiani's email about the commercialization of the shear, may I suggest that Joey, I guess he's referring to, he can make a sponsorship of $500 or more each day to have you not say the names, but only display them on the screen. This way the shear will benefit from the additional funds. Just a thought with gratitude, Andrew Fuchs, Woodmere, New York. Yeah, but people want to hear their name uh, on the back. It's not the money. They want to hear their name. Fine. We're going to end up doing both now. We'll do the screen and we'll tell people. We'll say their names. The question is how distracting will, be, will the screen be? Okay. Dear Rebelli, one last one. This is Avram Zurov from Kiryat Sefer. So we got Woodmere and we got Kiryat Sefer. I don't know, they're like, to me, the, in, in my head, it's like two opposites of the planet. I, I lived like in Woodmere, so whatever. I never lived in Kiryat Sefer, I don't think I will. Although I have completed Daf Yomi, the previous cycle, I'm new to your shir, which I enjoy immensely. I find the shir entertaining, stimulating. The colorful charts really add to one's comprehension, particularly on complex subjects such like Tum and Tahara. 
I'm aware that copies of the charts are available on WhatsApp channel, however, I don't have WhatsApp access. Is there a way that the charts can be made available by email or uploaded to the 8 Minute Daf website? I believe they're uploaded to the app. Am I wrong? There should be a thing there on the app. Get the app, but he might not have a smartphone, so, so we have to upload it to the, to the website. It's a good idea. Or email. I'm sure that there are other members of the show who don't have WhatsApp access and would love to have access to the great content in order to review the material learned. Once again, you should call for creating such a highly stimulating shir called Tuv Avram Zorov. I believe my son is right next to Kiryat Sefer. Isn't uh, Moshe Matityahu right next, next to Kiryat Sefer? I think so. All right. Rabbi Isai, here we go. Day three of Tum and Tahara. Here's the question of the day. It's a simple question, but you have to think about this for a second. What consumable food or drink you know, food and drinks, they become tummy. That's what we're going to be discussing today, drinks, mashkin. Which one of them can become tummy and you could undo the tumma? So let's say you have a, a loaf of bread that becomes tummy. You can't dunk it in a mikvah. It will never become tar. But there is something that does become tar. I'm giving you three seconds and this is for a thousand points. David Adjur, Shalom Aleichem, how are you? It's great to see you online. Wow. What is it, like 1 o'clock by you guys, 1 in the morning? The answer is water. Water can become tome, and if you do hashaka, you just touch it to a water source in the ground, it becomes tahar. Donnie Fine. Donnie Fine, wow! Unreal! So from everybody, that, ah, it's a tamut chacham. Givalika stuff. All right, zuck the gemara. So we are smack in the middle of a sugi here. And yesterday we were talking about this colorful case. Schmack a case. It's a dead mouse and a whole thing, but at any rate, we have like this. We have a sheretz that touched a kli, that touched the mashkim. And the mashkim touched a piece of meat. So you see how it goes? The sheretz to the kli. The kli becomes a, if the sheretz is an av, the level below that is a rishon. That Rishon touches a mashka. And that's the entire sugya today. We're going to be discussing what happens to the mashka itself. Does the mashka become tummy at all? And if it does become tummy, could it make other things tummy? So we had a machlokis Reb Meir Reb Yoisi. According to Reb Meir, it only makes other things tummy midirabbanon. Midiraisa doesn't have the power to make something tummy. And therefore, it fits very well into Mesechtes Psachim. Why? Because we're discussing something very similar when it comes to Chometz Erev Pesach. Chometz Erev Pesach in the sixth hour is also Aser Midr Can I take that Chometz that's Aser Midr and it's Tar and throw it into a bonfire and have it touch other things that are Tameh and make it Tameh? Say, according to Remeyer, you see this idea that since I could take this piece of meat that's only Tomei Midrabana on why? Because this liquid over here doesn't have the power to make anything else Tomei. It's done, it's the end of the line. But Midrabana on it makes this piece of meat Tomei, and I can take this piece of meat, toss it into the fire together with a serious Tomei piece of meat. A meat that's Tomei Midrabana because it touched the sherris directly. I throw it in, and look, it's upping its Toma. It's going from a Shlishi. To a shani. So you could do that. So too, you could throw your chametz into the fire. Says Rabbi Yaisi, not true. There's no, there's no correlation. Why? Because I, Rabbi Yaisi, hold that this mashka makes this piece of meat tummy midday raisa. So if it's tummy midday raisa, that's why I could throw this piece of meat into, together with another piece of meat that's tummy midday raisa. They might not be the same level of tumma, but the day raisa, day raisa tummy. Whereas chametz is not tummy at all, how could I throw it into the oven? Okay. Says the Gemara, Daftez Zayin Omid Aleph on top, the Sanya, last word on Daftez Vov Omid Beis, the Sanya. Where do we see this? Says, Suffolk Mashkin Litame Tommy. Okay, let me show you my chart here. Another very colorful chart. We're going to have four sheet, very simple machlaikas, four sheetas here. Rabbi Meir, and the Gemara says that Rabbi Lazar holds just like Rabbi Meir, 
We're going to see, does he hold exactly like him, almost like him? You have a sheretz that touches water. Mashkim. Call it mashkim, okay? What happens according to the mayor? Check. Check means that it becomes tamei midoy raisa. Almost everybody holds that if a sheretz touches a mashkim, it becomes tamei midoy raisa. You see? Three out of four, besides down here, Rav, in the name of a very interesting, I did a very interesting abbreviation here. Yud Beis Yud Aleph Tzadik. Anybody know what that is? I don't even know what it is. It's Yoisi Ben Yoy Ezer Ish Tzreda. According to him, only according to Rav, it doesn't become Tomei. If a Sheretz touches a mashk, it doesn't become Tomei at all. Midoy Raisa. Check means Doi Raisa, Doi Raisa. Now, what happens when the water, the mashk, touches a bread? So Rameyer says, X, doesn't become Tomei Midoy Raisa. And Rabbi Yehuda says, check, it becomes Tomei Midoy Raisa. And Rabbi Yehuda and Rabbi Shimon say, check on food, it becomes Tomei, X on a Kli. So this is in between Chita, Rav on the bottom, according to Rabbi Yoisi Ben Yoyezer is Treda, Treda says, the Mashkin don't become Tomei, and certainly they can't make anything else Tomei, XX. Okay, so it's a very simple Machloikis here. Let's see it inside. Sofeg Mashkin Litame Tomei. Now, this is Rameir. So according to Rameir, that the Mashkin becomes Tomei Midoi Raisa. So now I have a Suffolk. What happened was, there was a guy, it says Rashi, he stuck his foot into the, the, the water. If it, he wasn't sure, did he touch it? Did he not touch it? Is it Tomei or not? This is Suffolk. So what do we do when we have a Suffolk in the Doi Raisa? Because the Midoi Raisa, Mash can become Tomei. Suffolk Doi Raisa, when it's in a Rosh Hashayachid, is Tomei. So therefore, Suffolk Mashkin, Litame, it itself, the Mashkin itself, to be Tomei, did it touch the guy's foot, did it not? We're going to have to say it's Tomei because Midirai, so we go to Chumra, in Rosh Hashayach. Litame, Acherim, however, to go to step two, to take this Mashkin, touch a bread, nothing. Tar. Reb Meir is of the opinion that that's only Midirai Banan. This Tumah, to touch a bread, is only Midirai Banan. So Mimela, if there's a Suffolk, it's Tahar. Dibir Rimeir. V'chein. And we have to remember these words. It's going to come up in the sugya soon. V'chein hoya Rebeleza Oimer Kidvarov. Rebeleza used to say, like his words, like Rimeir's words. This thing right over here, Mashka, becomes Tomei Midiraisa and is not Mitama, other foods, only Midirabana. Rabbi Doimer, like all Tomei, if Mashke touches a sheretz or something else, I have a, tuma, a person that touched the Tomei Meis, uh, he's a Tomei Meis, so the Mashke becomes Tomei Midiraisa, and it makes the food Tomei Midiraisa. La Koil over here comes to include even Kalim, because over here, look, he holds, Rabbi Yosef and Rabbi Shimon hold that Kalim not. Rabbi Yudha says everything, La Koil, La Koil Tomei. This Mashke can make even Kalim Tomei. Maybe I should have had a kli over here also. A check with a kli. Okay. So if you have a Suffolk Tuma, since the mashka makes the food Tomei Midoi Raisa, so if you have a Suffolk Tuma on the food, it's Tomei. Suffolk Tuma, Doi Raisa, and Rosh Hashayachet is Tomei. And on Kalim, Tar... Because it's only the Rabbanon. Ask the Gemara. So we said that Rebbe Lazar holds like Rebbe Meir. Here you see, top shita, right over here. Rebbe Meir, Rebbe Lazar hold. Mash can become Tomei Midiraisa. But they cannot make food Tomei. But it's not true, says the Gemara. Rebbe Lazar doesn't hold that it becomes Tomei. We saw Rebbe Lazar, Mash can islu Tumet Ba'ilam. That this Tuma. Vatanya, Rebbe Lazar Oimer. Rebbe Lazar Oimer. Ain Tumet Lam Mash Kolikar. Rebbe Laza says, no, there's no, there's no Tuma in Mashkin at all. Teda, and I'll prove it to you, that there's no Tuma at all. Sharei heid yoisi ben yoi ezer is shreda al ayol kamsun dechein. Dechan. There's a special grasshopper in Mesech des Eidiyos, which is testimonials from different Tanoim. Heid, he testified that this grasshopper is kosher. 
There's a famous story with Reb Chaim Kanievsky. He was in the middle of learning, and he wanted to see that he didn't know what this, the, this grasshopper was. I don't know which one it was. Maybe it's the aisle. And all of a sudden, a grasshopper landed on his Gemara. So I have a similar story. I was learning from my Chavrusa, and this is a story about my Chavrusa, not about me. My Chavrusa is a Ish Kaddish. We're learning, and we're learning about the rooster crowing. And I said, similar to the rooster that crows every day in the middle of Seder. He looks at me and says, that's one of your made-up stories. What do you, what do you mean, it crows? I, he didn't say it like that, but that's probably what he was thinking. There's no rooster that crows here every day. I said, what are you, every day it crows. He says, no, you're dreaming. And that second, like crazy. And he goes, what? We've been learning in that building for two years. I'm just saying, that's, he's so involved in learning, he really never heard it. I hear it every single day. Since then, I, I heard it yesterday. But anyways, so the, the, the mice of the, of the grasshopper with my chavrusa. Okay, fine. Ellie. Yeah. What was it? Remind me. Anything you mentioned in <laughs> You mean anything? I once mentioned ten thousand dollars. That 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 whatever. You know they said they said I said a fan. They sent me a fan. You're right. I'm trying to be careful. I think what 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 did I mention yesterday? I, I said there is Hanukkah. So Bar Hashem, the is not okay. Rooster. I said rooster. I'm gonna have a rooster tomorrow. Yeah. You gotta be careful. Anyways, you know, the safari, the safari is an unbelievable thing. So when you go to the safari, it's like Nefloi Sabari, you see lions and leopards and it's unbelievable. It's not, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, whatever, it's not, okay, there's nothing going on here, but we're talking about animals, so I had to mention the safari. Oh, so what's going on here? In the base Hamikdash, this is just like, I made this up. I might be completely wrong that the Shas's most favorite topic is Hechshir Tuma. So this is my favorite chart. I've used this chart a thousand times. Anytime you talk about the base of So over here, right opposite the... Here's the Mizbeach. Bring the carbon here. You see these rings? That's where they shech the animals. Right below it, this whole area, is the butcher shop. Over here you got tables, stones. This is where they fillet the animal. They, they rinse the blood off. So what do you have here? You have two liquids going on in this area. You have blood and you have water. <clears throat> Says Yoisi ben Yoyezer straight. By the way, his name is not Rebbe Yoisi because it's b- before, before we had Tanoim. Hold on. This wouldn't happen to be smart. So... Yoisi ben Yoyezer Yisrael. It's not chutzpah, because that's, that was their name before they had rabbis. <coughs> Testified that all liquids in the Beis HaMikdash, in that butcher shop, in the butcher shop, not in the Beis HaMikdash, in the butcher shop, the Khan, tar. The tar. Now, you could view it and say, tar means, there's no, there's no tumma to, to liquid. That would be a major problem. Because Rabbi Lazar said that liquids do become tome. Just they can't make other things tummy. You're telling me they don't become, they're not metam at all, they're not tummy at all. We have a major problem. How could you take something that midiraisa is tummy and say, oh, in the base Hamikdash it's not tummy? It's not up to you to decide. If it was a, a chumra de, de rabbanon, that liquids became tummy mid rabbanon, so rabbanon could decide, in the base Hamikdash we're not going to apply that chumra. But if midiraisa, uh, liquids become tummy, how could you say, balmashkin base maduchai dechan, that it's tar? Says the Gemara, Nichol is Shmuel the Omar, the Chan Militam et So Shmuel basically says exactly Remeir Shita that it's Tahar, this liquid is Tahar for making the bread something else, Tame. But Avol, Tumas Atzmon Yeshlahem, look, there's a check here. The mashke itself does become Tame. So what Yaisi, Yaisi Ishi Yezer is trying to say is, the liquids in the base of don't make something else tummy. They themselves are tummy. They don't have the ability to make something else tummy. Yes, the Rabbanon, typically they make tummy. But not in the base of Mikdash. We don't want to be, we don't want to start making kachim tummy every 10 minutes. Oh, what are you doing with this dead animal? Oh, it touched blood. I got to take it out of here. I got You're going to start making everything tummy? No. So they stopped that in the base of Mikdash. Here's the big problem. 
the Rav Domar Dechan Mamish. And here's Rav in Yoisi Ben Yoyezer Istredo. There's no Tuma on Mashkim. There's no Tuma on liquids. Period. Anywhere. Michael and Maymar. Rebel Lazar is the one that brings Yoisi Ish. He says, Teda, I'll prove it to you. R- who says it? Rebel Lazar says, I'll prove it to you because Heyid Yosef Ben Yoyezer Istredo. That according to Rav, there's zero Tuma. And we just said, we started off the Sugi that Rebbe Lazar holds that there is Tuma to liquids. And Yosi Shreda said there is no Tuma to liquids. And who said it? Who brings it as Raya? Rebbe Lazar himself. Michael and Omer of Nachman by Yitzchak, Achada. Only one out of these two things. In other words, if he holds, Rebbe Lazar holds, that it, when it comes to other foods, if there's a suffix tumah to be make something else, tame tar. But him himself, he holds that it's tar. In other words, what Nachamol? He holds in. Let me see, got confused there for a second. Uh, let's see Rashi. Hold on, Rebbe Lazar could divide the Remeir alatam acherim tar the Remeir koi avalatam atame loisvir like of us say. Okay, so he himself is not tame. The the mashke itself is not tame. Frag the Gemara. Only one out of the two things. One out of these two things. Says the Gemara. He said he agrees to both of these. The nefishi, it's two. Void, katani. He says exactly like Reb Meir. Reb Lazar is Reb Meir. Says the Gemara Akashia. Okay, from these words it's Akashia. And we know. For the Kashia start minished. In other words, if the Gemara says to Yufta, that would be a bomb question. Kashia is okay question. In fact, the Rambam passing is like Rav. So, because we always passing like Rav B. Surim, and over here the Rambam passing like Rav. So, the, the Rambam wasn't bothered by these questions so much. It's a cash. Okay, fine. Kufa. Rav Ahmad the Khan Mamish. Rav says that liquid is completely tahar. In other words, you cannot make liquid tamay ushmul amad the khan milatam tumas akhir. It only doesn't have the ability to make something else tummy. But it itself can become tummy. Rav Rav holds, why is it? Because the entire tumma of mashka is not made rice. There's no such concept of liquids becoming tummy. So Rabban have the choice. They say, we're going to make everything tummy, not in the butcher shop. Shmuel holds, like this sheet right on top. Mashke becomes Tomei. It just doesn't have the ability to make something else Tomei. So there's two steps here. To make liquid Tomei, that's the Raiso. To make something else Tomei, that's the Rabbanon. And Rabbanon only said that the liquid has the ability to make something else tame outside of the base Hamidosh. Not inside the base Hamidosh. We don't, we, don't, we don't want to make too many things tame over there. Where am I? It has the ability to become Tomei, it just doesn't have the ability to make others Tomei in the base of Yerush. Ravuna tells his son, 
When you go see Rav Papa Romilei, I want you to ask him this question. Did Shmuel really say that Yaisi Ishi Yeza said that it's tar from being metama others, but it does become tummy by itself? Now, we're talking basar is kachim. If it touches anything that's tame, so nachama. We're saying that midiraisa, this liquid becomes tame. So it's tame. It's called the word tame. And it says in the Pasuk, anything that is tame will make it tame. If the meat of kachim touches something that's tame, such as liquid, because according to you, liquid is tame, so the meat becomes tame. So you see. That liquid has the ability to make something else tummy. You can't say that in Bisham English they turn that off, they turn that switch off. It's a Mafur Shapasik that, that liquid, according to you. If liquid is not tummy, okay, so you don't have a problem. But you're telling me liquid itself is tummy midiraisa. So once it's tummy midiraisa, it should have the ability to make the meat tummy in the Bisham English. So if you go back to this chart, you have Aviyah Vaisa Tuma, Ava Tuma goes every, whatever it touches becomes one step less. Rishon, Tashaini, Tashlishi, Tarevi. The only thing a V, the only thing that becomes Tomei through Revi, the fourth step is a piece of Kachim, a carbon. And then the only thing that becomes Tomei through a Chamishi is a Paraduma. And not only Chamishi, it goes on forever. A Shishi, a, a hundred and Shishi, a Paraduma is so susceptible to Tuma. But a V is only for Kachim. Says the Gemara, Amar Rav Shishu Berei the Ravidi Midi to have a Ravi Bakaidish. The a fourth a Ravi Bakaidish can't do anything. Once it's a Ravi, it's, it's, it's stuck. It, it, it can't do anything else. It can't make anything else. Tummy, it's so weak. So Meila, that's what I'm saying. That this liquid is considered a Ravi. It doesn't have the ability to make something else. Tummy. Masculine Ravashi as Ravashi Ravi Bakaidish liquid Tummy. But we never call this level over here of Tuma Tuma. Remember, we even said by Shlishi, it's called Pasul. Over here, it's not called Tomei at all. It's not in the Pasuk. Why? Because the whole idea of learning review is learn from a Kabbalah So the Torah never called it Tomei. Hi, Ikri Tomei. But these liquids you're calling Tomei. It should have the ability to be Tomei something else. Kashya. Again, it's a Kashya. From a Kashya start minished. Toshma b'chol mashka she yishose b'chol kli. There's a Maisa, by the way, with a Daragot Shavar. We have, we don't have time. I have to say it quickly. The Rogat, somebody asked him a kasha. He says, I can't sleep at night. So the Rogat Shova said, I in, in this and this Masech, did have this and this and that. So the guy looks, can't find it. He writes the Rogat, I can't find it. So he says, look in Taisus. He looks in Taisus, I can't find the answer. So he says, look, Taisus has a kasha, didn't have a teretz. And he continued. He continued on with life. So you too. It's okay. Vaiter. So kasha. Toshma. V'chom mashka she yishose b'chol kli yitma. So what's this word yitma? Every mashka. We're talking about liquids in this pasuk. We're talking about kli. We're talking about kli cheres. If there's water, there's liquids in it. Yitma. Now you know Hebrew. What does yitma mean? Ma yitma. So lechayra, it means that it itself becomes tummy. Not like Rav says that liquid cannot doesn't have the ability to become tummy. Yitma will make the other thing tummy. It's so tummy will make something else tummy. No, says the Gemara, my yitma, hechshir. The Shas' most favorite topic, hechshir tuma. In order for me, in order for a, a, a piece of food to become tame, yeah, it has to be susceptible to tuma. And the only way to make it susceptible to tuma is by sprinkling it with one of the seven liquids. So that's what it means, yitma. It has the ability to make something else susceptible to tuma. As the Gemara, hechshir merisha, the crush, honestly. Can't be that that's what the Pasuk is talking about. That's already in the beginning of the Pasuk. Says the Gemara, you're right. There's two types of liquid. One is attached to the ground. It's in a pit somewhere. And one is in your, here. This is not mechuber water. Right over here. So the Torah is telling us, they both have the ability, if I take from my kli and I pour it on my apple, my apple is susceptible to tumah. And if I take my apple and I dip it into my mikvah that's attached to the ground, susceptible to tumah. What's I, I wouldn't know one, one without the other. 
When I take the water and I put it in my cup, ooh, I made this chashav. I made this important. Now, important water can make something susceptible to Tumma. But since it's stam, it's in a hole, in a pit in my backyard. Maybe it shouldn't have the chashivas. That's where it's meant to be, in the pit. Chashivi, that itself gives it chashivas. Maybe the opposite. I take this from the faucet. This is worthless. I think it doesn't have the ability. Tzrichi. Toshma. Ach, mayon, ubar. What does the word ach mean? Only. So what does the Pasuk say? Ach, mayon, ubar. Only water that's in a pit. Mikve mayim, yetar. These waters are tahar, right? Think about it. How do you do tahar on a mace? You take a dead person and you dunk him in a mikvah. What happened to the water of the mikvah? Zero, nothing. Why? Because the water is attached to the ground. But if I take this water, which, which, that was the first question I asked in the shir. Water becomes tummy. Why? Because it's not attached. Oh. But it says in the Pasuk that if water is attached, it doesn't become tummy. Mashma, that if it's not attached, it does become tummy. No, so that's a kash on Rav. Rav says mashki never becomes tummy. Ach, my honor, my Says the Gemara, no, you didn't understand the Pasuk. When people dunk in it, or you put a kli in it, they become tar, not the water itself. As the Gemara, if it's not attached to the ground, this water does it have the ability to make something else susceptible to Tumah. The liquids that are in the butcher shop, in the Beis Hamikdash, not only are they tar, they don't even have the ability to make other fruit susceptible to Tumma. We're talking about only blood, not water, blood. Why? How do we know that blood of Kachim doesn't have the ability to make food susceptible to Tumma? Machshir, susceptible to Tumma. Shinema ala ores tishbacheno kamayim. Dam shenishbach kemayim machshir. Think about it. Chulin, regular blood. Regular blood. Stam blood. In regular shlach toys. That's chulin. That's, where, do, where does that blood go? Onto the ground. Ala ores tishbacheno kamayim. Blood is like water when it acts like water. When it's spilled on the floor. But blood that's caught in a vessel, like in the Beisam Migdash, you have to catch the blood. You have to do Kabbalah, catch it, so that you could have blood to sprinkle on the Mizbeach. That's not blood that can make anything else susceptible to Tumah. So, just turn to the Tezayin on the base, sponsored, Lilu Nishmas Rucham Echayi Fruma, Olea Shalom Basr Doiv Pinchas Yibol Echayim Toivim. And Lilu Nishmas Rebichil Shraga Ben Avram Alevi Olav Shalom. Also sponsored by Kamla from the five towns, Lilu Nishmas' his father, Menachem Mendel Ben Simcha. And finally, by the winner of the thousand points today, Dani Fine. Tzvi, you should have a lot of nachas from your son. Well, we got 124 people on Zoom, and he's the one that came with the answer. Sponsored by the five and pearl families, in the Schuss of Refur Shleimo from Mindel Elka, Bas Edol. She should have Refur Shleimo. Zokti Gemara. Maskev lo Rav Shmuel bar Ami. Harei dama tamtzis. The nishbach kamayim ve'enu yimachshir. I got a shtickle chalisha sadas. I pulled this out from Pcharis. And I said to myself, you know, I'm going to have to redo all my charts now. I thought I have charts. I'll be able to go next cycle. Just pull them out. No. This is old time. This is old fashioned. Anyway. We're not going into the sugya. So this is Dama Tamsis. Dama Tamsis is basically the first blood that comes out by Shechita and at the end. So if you look closely, you see this is black. I did a black. It goes in colors. This one goes downwards. This one spritzes that way. And then it turns into black again. Black and black. We'll call it black, okay? Stam, for the, for the fun of it. We're not going to that sugya. The point is, it's the first blood that comes out. It's darker in color and the last blood. Everything in between is, is okay. But you can't use that blood. It's not good for the avoida. <laughs> I see Rebbe Vom Weisfish. Is there, do you know what I'm talking about? Black, not black, fine. The point is, the, the first blood, it dribbles out, doesn't come out forcefully, 
Then it comes out forcefully, that's the regular blood. Those two bloods you can't use to sprinkle on the Mizbeach. The Dama before, after, whatever it is, you can't use it. So, Nachamal, we have a case of It goes on the ground. So if it goes on the ground, it should make fruit susceptible to Tumah. It's just like water. You can't do Zrik on it, so it's spilled on the ground like water. At the end of the day, you can't. You can't, it's not susceptible to Tumah. Forget about it. It's nothing to do with Beis Hamikdash. That Damatamsis doesn't have the ability to be Machshir. So you can't ask me a question from Unrav from, from Damatamsis. Says the Gemara, Kabla Mene Rav Shmuel Bar Ami. Rav Shmuel Bar Ami heard the Svar from Zero, the Omar Achmona, Rak Chazak the Bilti Achol Adam. Do not eat blood, drink blood. Ki Adam or Nefesh. Dam and Nefesh. Dam and Nefesh Yoytzebo Kori Dam. Dam and Nefesh Yoytzebo Eri Kori Dam. So at the end of the day, Dam and Tamsis is not Dam and Nefesh. It's not considered blood. So nothing. When the Torah says that one of the seven liquids is blood, it's not referring to Dam and Tamsis. Because Dam and Tamsis is not what kills an animal. We had, I think, in, in Shabbos, if I recall correctly, we had the, the sugi over there. When it comes to a human being, the first blood, any blood, is considered damsha nefesh tali, but not by an animal. Animal is different. Like in Shabbos, chabura. If I take out a little blood from here, I, I kill the person because it could be it's possible that that blood is part of his nefesh, but not by an animal. Damsha nefesh yoyzboni kori dam. Toshma. Listen to this. It says dam shenitma. It says mafurish blood that became tummy. So you see, blood could become tummy if we stop right here. Uzrakoi. And you did Zrika onto the Mizbeach, right? That's step number four. Shechita, and then you gotta be, do Kabbalah, you gotta accept the blood in a, in a vessel, then you do Eilach, and you walk into the Mizbeach, sprinkle it. So it became Tameh, and you sprinkled it. Beshoigeg Hurza. We're gonna see soon, but here, just as a peek, the Kohen Gadol wears one of these. I'm not saying this is what it looks like, this is for demonstration purposes only. It's big machlaikas. If the Kodesh is on top of Hashem, Hashem is on top of the Kodesh. Over there, they did a, a, like an interesting. Combo kind of thing, the Kaitish and then Lashem is large. Whatever. You get the point. It's a nice piece of gold that goes on his forehead and it has magical properties. What does it do? It could be Maratza. It could give you a kapara even though you don't deserve one. But it says here that if the blood became, and we're going to go into it a little further, if the blood became Tomei, Dizrika, Bishoige, if you did it by mistake, Kurza. This sits. Gives you a ritu. You get a kapara. B'meizid loy hurza. And if you did it on purpose, so you get a kapara. It doesn't mean that you could eat the animal or anything, but you get a kapara. Says the Gemara. So, so oh, so he says, says mafurish dam shenitma. You could you could make dam tummy. Says the Gemara midrabbana. This whole thing is midrabbana. Who the like Rabbi Yosef Yezis Shreida? He says there's no tum at all. When it comes to liquids in the base Hamikdash, basement Bechai Dechan, Tar, 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 not even the Rabbanon. So this is not Rabbi Yosef Ben Yezer. Okay, Toshma, Almat sits Meratza. Oh, this sits that the Kohen Gadol wears. What does it come? What kind of ritzu does it give? What kind of part does it give? Al Adam, Vala Bosor, Vala Chelev Shenitma. It comes to give a ritzu on the blood and the meat and the and the and the fats that became Tameh. Bein b'shoigig, bein b'meizu, whether he did it by, by mistake or on purpose. Bein b'oynes, bein b'rotzen. So this is basically the same lashon. They just mimic each other, says Rashi. There's no extra limur here on oynes, uh, on rotzen. Rotzen and meizu is the same thing. Fine. Bein b'yachid, bein b'tzibur. So, what do you see? It comes to be mechaper on dam. Al adam. It says the first... Al-Adam, al So Dam, that became Tomei. So the Gemara, the Rabbanon, again, it's only talking about uh, the Rabbanon, no Raya, what happens in the Raisa. What do you like Yosef, ki Yosef ben Yezer is straight up. Okay. Yosef ben Yezer, there's no, says there's no Tomei at all. He holds it's, you're right, there's no Tomei with the Raisa, but there's Tomei with the Rabbanon. Toshma, benosa Aaron is Avena Kodoshim. This sits, comes to be mechaper, avoyna kachim. The avere done when you're bringing a carbon. V'chi'ezo avenu noise. 
What area did he do? Im avoim pigul. What does pigul mean? So the way the Gemara, just, uh, we're not going to get into it. The way the Gemara typically thinks about pigul, uses the word pigul, means if a person had a machshava in his head, when he was doing the shechita, he thought he's going to eat it outside the allotted time. But in fact, the Torah, when the Torah says the word pigul, the Torah means outside of its allotted place. Over here, the Gemara means outside of its allotted place. Literally like the Torah says it, not like the Gemara means it. Okay. Not that big of a difference, I'm just pointing it out. Pigal over here means outside of its place. But it can't be that the tzitz comes to give you a kapara for that. Harik lo yiratza. There is no kapara. That animal is gone. You can't sprinkle its blood. Forget about it. Now, again, this cannot mean that you left the meat over. Noisar. Noisar means over here it has to mean that in your head, you thought that you're going to leave it over. So I would think that the tzitz comes to be mechapa, this terrible avera. It's, it's karas. If you eat it, you're over, terrible avera. I would think the tzitz is mechapa. No. It only comes to be mechapa one thing. If you were metama, if, if it became tummy. Shudra meklav Tuma. You see, there's a cooler in Tumah that if most of Klai Yisrael is Tameh, you can bring a carbon even though the Kayin is Tameh. So, but what does it mean? What became Tameh? So think about it. What do you bring in the Beis Hamikdash? There's two things. <clears throat> it could either be the animal itself became Tameh, or it could mean the blood. Which one would you pick? Now I'm going to tell you. Please don't pick the animal. Because the animal is not important. Yes, you take the animal and you put it on the Mizbeach. That's very nice. It's a nice thing to do. But what's important is the blood. The blood is what gives everybody kapara for the Avera. So when, when, when it makes a lot of sense to say that the blood became Tomei. My love, Tumas Dam. So I'm saying, the Gemara is just a far-fetched thing. Oh, the blood became Tomei. Why would you pick blood? It's like a garbage thing. Something. No, the blood is what gives you the kapara. So I would think... That if the blood became Tameh, the tzitz of the Kohen Gadol gives it, it says it's okay. You could, you could sprinkle the blood. Go ahead. Sprinkle it even though it's Tameh. Omra Papa, no. I could be I could say not. That's not what it comes. Tumas Kimotzim. If you bring a mincha, you bring breads to, to the base of Mikdash, oil, bread, the Kohen has to take his hand, go like this inside, grab Beloy Chafnav like this, and he goes like this with his finger. And he brings this thing onto the Mizbeach. Whatever's left inside over here, that's the Kaimit, that's the Kmitza. And that gives you a Kapara. So that became Tomei. Comes the Tzitz. And says, okay, let it go. It became Tomei. The Kohen God is wearing this Tzitz. Throw it onto the Mizbeach. Let this guy get a Kapara. Toshmam. Heniso ish besar Kodesh. Here, beautiful Pasuk. Chagai Hanavi comes. And when Klai Yisrael is coming back from Golas, he says, Rabbi Yisai, stop. Before you go into the Bisa Mikdash, you got to do a test. Like, yeah? Every pilot, I don't know, I don't know about cars, because I don't really have a good Israeli license. But every pilot needs to get, every year you get a test. You can't just fly. Every single year. So you, know, you think you're in Golas for 50 years, you're going to show up in Bisa Mikdash and start pretending you know what you're doing? Test. What's the test? I'll show you my, my, my design. You have a guy, a Hasidish guy, who's holding a sheretz, dead, with his begged. This sheretz, Rabbi Isai, is an avatuma. This sheretz touched a, a, a bread, it became a rishon tuma, which touched some sort of stew, became a sheni tuma, which touched the wine became a shlishi, which touched the oil, the oil became a revi. You see what's going on here? Great. That's his question. Let's see it inside. He's holding on to a piece of meat in his, in his baguette. And the bread touched, the, 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 the sherets touched the bread. And then the bread touched the nozid, you know, some sort of Whatever food, 
Velayayin, and that touched the wine, which then in return, Velashemen, Vel Kolmachol, Hayigdosh. Vayano Akoyano, Vayano Lo Yigdosh. There's no Tumah here. Says the Gemara Daf Yudzainam Dalev, Amara, Vishtabish Kahane. They made a big mistake. Why? Midu Taimo Elul Rav. He was asking according to Rav. Rav, Mashke Beis Matbuchayatani. Rav is the one that says that in the butcher shop, in the butcher area of the Beis Hamikdash, the liquids don't have tumah. But we're not talking about Beis Midbachayo. We're talking about Beis Midbachayo with a Dawid, which is the Mizbeach. And what goes on the Mizbeach? Oil and wine. That's some of the stuff that goes on the Mizbeach. That, in fact, does have tumah. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Rabbi, say hello to Avi Mendelbaum. Ooh, Rabbi Yossi Schloss. Shalom Aleichem. Everybody say hello to Menachem Schloss's brother. Shalom Aleichem. Who else do we have here? Is it related to Rabbi Schloss from Rabbi Weinberger Schul? No, no, no. They're from London. They're from Manchester. Uh-huh. I don't know where. They're from London. the UK. The UK. London, London. That's like saying New Jersey is like New York. Okay. Oi, oi, sorry, sorry. How's uh, Rabbi Brandis? How's how's Stephen Sokola doing? I haven't heard from him in a while. Is he is he healthy? Is he back? Is he back on his feet? What happened? What did you say, Mark? I didn't hear. What did you say? Oh, he's back at work. Okay. Somebody give him chizuk. He probably missed a month of learning. Tell him that it's okay. He should come back. <coughs> We're in an easy sugi of tumah. It's a perfect day to come back. Is David address still on? Rabbi Yaman Eisenberg? Yeah. What about him? Who is Tom and Jerry? What are you talking about? I don't know what you're talking about. This is a This guy is a strimal. What are you talking in China? Tom and Jerry. <laughs> Listen, I'm an Amaris. I didn't know who Joe Trabini, whatever, whatever his name is. I mean, I later on found, I know what Friends is. That I do know. I didn't know his name was Joe. I wasn't that sort of. But Tom and Jerry, that every, even, even a Bnei Brakish a kid. No, 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 for you, not that. <laughs> Simcha, Simcha, I forgot to say Yishkoyach to you. I got your Sefer, Yishkoyach. Thanks for the Sefer. <laughs> what, you knew about it, Yeshua?
He sure did something over there. Yep. There goes his two again. Shlomi, it was a nice, it was a nice uh, vart last night. What? It was a nice vart. It was very nice. You saw Goldstein was there, I think. Uh, he was. I said. I, I, I mentioned in the beginning. Mendel Fodifas. Everyone have a great, great, great day. Rabeli, I want to tell you, you mentioned about, uh, someone asked about playlists. There's on YouTube, there's a playlist for each of the uh, Mesefsas. So if you see the way to the podcast, play that. asking about people who don't listen to certain Amen Dots. That's what he wants to do. Yeah, but what if you go into the well, uh, Victor? What if you go into the into the playlist, the YouTube playlist, and hit that uh, video, and isn't it going to play the next one automatically? Raboy said the uh, the speed is a very big key to to, to go a little quicker. You might you gain that much more. You don't have to. If you have, if you have, if you have TiVo, if you have TiVo, no, five is just get TiVo. TiVo will do it for you. <laughs> Rebershi, Rebershi, the last email I got from you was with a monkey. Come on, new, send send one already. What's going on? Yeah. No. Shalom aleichem. No way! Yeah. How's the Vasha doing? Baruch Hashem, good night, Rosh has two beautiful children. Two! <laughs> wow! Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. Unbelievable. He, he followed along with us for, uh, for a little while, and then some Sutton came and told him he had to learn the Eon with a rabbi. No! That is, hello? That's the biggest Sutton ever. If you, if you, if you miss a daf, if you miss a daf, Oh my gosh. No, the, the guy must be a tremendous tzaddik because the Yitzhahara only goes... That, that's an excuse? That's an excuse for like a huge, huge guy. Most guys, the Yitzhahara is able to go like, eh, it's too fast. To say that I'm going to go be'eon? Learn be'eon? That's already a whole level of the Yitzhahara. Shlaimi, I guarantee you, you're going to come back in a month from now. No chavrusa, nothing got stuck. The, the guy, oh, the guy got six, I didn't know, and he had a chasana, this, that. So where are you? But Dafayomi is over. Dafayomi is over. Oh my gosh. Zagizond. Wow. Where's this thing? Oh, I gave somebody, look what I got. For a few thousand dollars, I got a leaf of an arava. Who's your son? Really? I don't know. I don't know what this is.
The guy told me when you drive, this is very good to put in your car. I said, I only drive from here to Lourdes Mechabrus and back. And then I